Hello friends, so let's try to go for a next problem from the DJ Griffith quantum mechanics that is introduction of quantum mechanics and in this particular problem, this is problem from the harmonic oscillator, we have to find the average value of position, average value of momentum as well as position square and the average of uh, average of position square and momentum square as well as average value of kinetic energy and we have to use the basically operator method because it is given that you have to solve it from the operator method and uh, we have to find all these average value on the nth stationary state. So students it's a very simple problem straightforward but it's uh, important because it will just give you to understanding of the basic formula. So let's try to go for straightforward on this particular problem. So what we have? We have basically a so let's try to go for this. So first, uh, first of all, we have to just uh, writing the what is x operator for a harmonic oscillator. X operator for the harmonic oscillator is h cut upon two m omega a plus a dagger. And what is your Px operator or momentum operator? That value is equal to m omega h cut upon 2, that is root upon 1 upon i, a minus a dagger. So this is your x and p operator. So in the problem, it is given p. So I will also use this particular p. And what is a and a dagger? So we all know that the nth state of harmonic oscillator is just a n kit. So, when we are operating A on the n kit, that value is equal to root n, n minus 1 and A on the A dagger on the n kit will be root under n plus 1, n plus 1 and we know that the value of n will be from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, this information we have. So, straightforward we can use all these things. So, when we will go for average value of x, then average value of x is nothing and we have to calculate average value of x on the nth state. So, that is h cut upon 2m omega and we have a n a plus, sorry, this value is not this one. So, we have to just go for n a n plus n a dagger n. So, what will happen? A will operate on n, it will be n plus 1 state, a dagger will operate on n, that will, sorry, a will operate on n, this will be n minus 1, a dagger will operate on n, that will be n plus 1 and both are orthogonal, so all thing is 0. So, this value is 0. Similarly, what we will get? We will get the average value of p and that value is equal to m omega h cut upon 2, 1 upon i, what I will get? n a n minus n a dagger n. So, what will happen? A will again operate on n, it will be n minus 1, n and n minus 1 is orthogonal. So, it is 0, a dagger will operate on n, then it will be n plus 1, n and n plus 1 is orthogonal, so it is also 0. So, let us try to go for average value of x square. So, when we are going to calculate the average value of x square, so what is my x square operator? x square operator is equal to h cut upon 2m omega and this will be a square plus a dagger square plus a a dagger plus a dagger a. And you, if you have done the, all this thing very carefully, then a dagger a is n and a a dagger is n plus 1. So, this value is equal to h cut upon 2m omega and this is your a square, a dagger square and this is 2n plus 1. And what is n operator? If n is going to operate on nth kit, we will get n nth kit. So, the small n is the eigenvalue of capital N which is number operator. So, when we are going for the average value of x square, so average value of x square is we are getting h cut upon 2m omega. This is n a square n plus we have n a dagger square n plus we have n 2n plus 1. 
So again, a square will operate on n, it will keep the state n minus 2. n and n minus 2 is orthogonal, so this value is equal to 0. a dagger square will operate on n, that will give you n plus 2, n and n plus 2 is also orthogonal, so this value is 0. And here we have n will operate on n, which will get the same state, so this will going to survive. So average value of x square is so average value of x square is all about h cut upon 2m omega 2n plus 1. So this is my average value of x square. Let us try to go for average value of p square. Once we will get the average value of p square, we can also get the average value of t. We will also find the average value of potential energy such that we can find, see some symmetry also. Okay. So let's try to go for that. So when we are talking about average value of p square, then what we have, we have m omega h cut upon 2 and there will be minus 1 because 1 upon i square is minus 1 and what we will get a square plus a dagger square minus a a dagger plus a dagger a. So again we will get something like m omega h cut by 2 minus 1 is there and then we will get n a square n plus n a dagger square n and this will be also minus so this will be minus a a dagger minus a dagger a so this will be also there and what will happen we have minus and this value is equal to 2n plus 1 so this value is n 2n plus 1 so what will happen in this case also 2n plus 1 and n get. So this value is 0, this value is 0, this minus minus is plus and this value is 2n plus 1. So what we will get? We will get m omega h cut by 2, 2n plus 1. And if we want to find the delta x into delta p, we can also find this delta x into delta p. Delta x into delta p in this case is equal to, we have to find average value of x square minus average of x whole square. This is my delta x and what will be my delta p? Average value of p square minus average p whole square. So what is my average? Only this will survive. This is going to 0. This is going to 0. So what we will get? We will get basically root under h cut upon m so this will be m omega you can just check it here so h cut upon 2 m omega is there so h cut upon 2 m omega into root under m omega h cut and we have root under 2 n 2 n plus 1 and root under 2 n plus 1 so what we will get, we will get m omega, m omega is cancelled and what we will get and here is 2 is also there. So we will get h cut by 2, 2n plus 1 and you can find for n is equal to 0, you will have exactly uncertainty that is delta x into delta px is equal to h cut by 2. That is the minimum uncertainty you can find for the ground state of harmonic oscillator. Why it is that? Let us try to calculate the average value of kinetic energy and average value of potential energy and then we will see the symmetry between momentum and position for this particular harmonic oscillator. So let us try to go for that. So if we are calculating the average value of potential energy, we have to calculate half m omega square average value of x square and when we are going to calculate this one half m omega square the average value of x square is equal to h cut upon 2m omega 2n plus 1 so what we will get m m is cancelled and 1 omega is cancelled so it has dimension of h cut omega by 2 n plus half so this 2 will be there and again we can find the average value of kinetic energy that value is equal to p square upon 2m so we have to get the average value of kinetic energy so 2m and what is my p square that is m omega h cut upon 2 2n plus 1 
So what will happen? M to M cancel. Again, we will get x cut omega upon 2. N plus half is there. And what we can have? We can have average value of potential energy is exactly equal to average value of, of kinetic energy. And if we want to calculate the average value of energy, that value is average value of kinetic energy plus average value of potential energy. And in both cases, we are getting h cut omega by 2 n plus half plus h cut omega by 2 n plus half. So you can see there is a symmetry for this particular harmonic of letter and you have this type of information into each and every field, you, even into the basically kinetic theory of gases, you can find this type of thing, the average value of kinetic energy and potential energy is exactly you have, you are getting the same thing. So that value is equal to nothing but h cut omega and you have n plus half is there, that is average value of energy. So then it's a very straightforward question, but this question is very important to understand the basic nature of harmonic oscillator. So in the next question, we will just try to go for, uh, uh, use all this particular, uh, uh, whatever the calculation we have done into the next analysis. Thank you.